Hi, my name is Tim Poffenbarger, and I am a solutions architect uh, with GitLab and wanted to talk about our static analysis um, security scanning wrapper that is used. Um, and the example that I'm going to talk through uh, is specific to Java right now. But the, the intent of our, our static analysis um, scanning wrapper, uh, it it is used, uh, it works with a lot of different language specific libraries um, and security plugins. And what it, um, what it typically does is it builds the code um, and that code that's being built is usually uh, going to be generating a set of binaries or bytecode objects. And then it's gonna um, use that language specific scanner uh, and scan the actual code and the binaries and link um, vulnerabilities up between the binaries, what was built uh, with the source code. So that way you can have links uh, within your source code out to the um, from from the results, and then uh, typically that's going to be s uh, some scanner specific output. Uh, as a security um, framework, that there, there doesn't seem to be a set standard on what these um, scans should be producing. So um, so for example, the the Java output that we're going to have is some XML. Then lastly, GitLab utilizes its analyzer to generate a JSON file that GitLab, the product, is, is allowed to consume, which will then drive our um, reports and dashboards and uh, the merge request page as well. Uh, sometimes uh, customers are going to come and they're going to want to do pre-compilation, so they're not actually going to want the analyzer to do that build process. Uh, they're going to want the um, analyzer should just do the scanning and normalizing of that output. Um, the customer that I was working with recently actually didn't even want uh, the analyzer to be in charge of scanning the code. They wanted to uh, kick off the, the uh, downstream plugin, uh, the language specific scanner manually, and then only have GitLab normalize that output. So um, if you're just looking to, to do a pre-compilation, you can actually set it up and you can have a build job and then the spot bugs uh, for Java, the SAS job happen later and you can specify compile is equal to false and then way, that way it won't leverage Maven to do that build process. It is important to, to note that you'll have to make sure that your artifacts are being stored um, so that downstream the spot bug SAS job can pick those those binaries and um, bytecode. Uh, in looking at the the spot bug SAS job, um, as well as the the SAS analyzer that is referenced um, here, uh, and the the SAS job, what I was able to to put together was this file here. And all this is going to do is this is going to leverage the SAST job and it's going to override the spot bug SAST. And uh, with four lines um, overriding the, the original script, I was able to um, update the path so that um, it has all the different locations where binaries are at um, for the executables of Maven, spot bugs, the analyzer. Uh, I'm going to kick off the Maven package process. I'm going to kick off spot bugs, which is running the security plugins. It's going to um, take in all the necessary uh, XML parameter or the include and exclusion uh, files. It's going to also include the FindSec bugs plugin uh, with a uh, scanning effort of max. And then it's going to port um, all this stuff out to an XML file. Uh, specifically, what I'm actually doing here is I'm only going to pass in uh, specific class files. Uh, so I wanted to only uh, scan class files that were associated with uh, a particular directory um, in this web folder. And lastly, this, uh, this XML file will then be uh, converted via the analyzer that GitLab owns and supports um, and has authored it themselves and it's gonna convert this into that JSON format. And it, this will then store this JSON format so GitLab can pick this up. So the spot bugs job, you can actually see that does the package, it um, ran the scan, and you can see the XML output from that scan. And then lastly, this analyzer conversion process. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, this was a fun exercise for me to go through. Take care.